Hey, Mark, how's it going? Good. How are you? I'm good. It's Is hot. It I know, eh? but you know what? I don't mind the heat. Like, I mean, bring it on. Summer, right? We we've had some crap weather in June. Like, I, I don't mind this. People, yes, it's hot and it's sticky, but I don't know. I'm a big fan of it. Bring it on. I mean, it's cloudy now. It's kind of got rain, kind of cool things down a little bit, but I don't know. Bring up the sun. That's what I'm all for. So anyway, good weather's here. So thank you. Um, yeah. so condos today, midway through the month, transactions are down. Double digits, no surprise. We've been seeing transactions trending lower consistently this year, and especially at the halfway mark. Usually, you know, things pick up near the end, but now we're getting into a soon approaching a quieter time in the real estate market come July and August. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because like the last couple of months at the midway point, it was really bad. Yep. And then it picked up a bit. So instead of 40, 50%, we were at 20, 25%. Yep. Yep. Low last year. Yep. And we're seeing that consistently in the freehold market as well. Yeah. So I'm going to share the numbers with you. Okay. So the condo numbers are in blue. Okay. Okay. So in 2024, 15 sales, 2023, 26, 42% decrease. Okay. Actives 209. Yeah. And I'm going to probably think just like we've seen the freehold market, um, inventory is up over last year. Oh, for sure. Right. And for sure. We're seeing a lot of slower sales uh, in higher ranges with multiple decreases throughout this year, too. Well, and this is really scary, too, because like three to four, 17 actives, only one sold last year, two. Yeah. Four to 500, we have 58 listings, seven and seven. Yeah. But the five to 600, 64 actives, which is the highest amount, only three sales and yeah. nine last year. That, you know, that's usually typical, that five to six range, two bedroom gallery. Um, what's the other one? Um, help me out on, on Maple View. Um, Spice Way and stuff. Way. Um, Young someone Street. Street. Yes. And Pratt one's there, 41. Eight young street 41 i mean yeah i mean there's a bit of inventory to choose and you know some of those buildings aren't bad condo fees some are pretty damn expensive and even in the four to five range when we see 58 there's some expensive condo fees in that category yeah really expensive category and we're seeing you know the ones that are turning are you know lakeside young spiceway um the gallery you know in those ranges well, and, and the six to seven, there was five this year, four last year, almost stable, which is 30 and there's 32 actives, the seven to eight, 12 active, zero sales, but still only one last year too. Right. Yep. Yep. You know, so eight to nine, eight active listings, only zero sales, five last year. Yes. Yes. That's a kind of a big difference. Yeah, and I find, you know what, looking at some of that range, there's just, there's not a lot of good product in that range. We went through the Lake House video, and there's a couple that we kind of liked, right? Yeah. Uh, we kind of liked, but there's still, still not an abundance to say, you know, we saw the ones that eight, there's seven ninety nine at Lake House, or the one better and then two better, might as well call it, but the configuration's a little different, smaller balconies, I don't I think there's some, you know, I think there's some demand, but for the right inventory, but it's just not there. And over a million, 16 active, zero sales, both years. Yeah. But one, one I made a comment. We missed one. There was one sale this year in that range over a million. It's at Lake House. So you see it right down there it was eight days on market. Yeah. Um, one sale. And that was a 1600 square foot or 1700 square oh, so foot. This should be a one. Uh -huh, should be one. Um, a nice, you know, and it sold eight days. So we're starting to see, um, and there's one more at that range too that's conditionally sold in this building too. Um, they're just waiting status and has SPP, but it could be two. And they're both big units and big dollar units. Yeah. So some things are turning in Lake House. So, Surprise. but I think Monica, not, yeah, I know, Nautica, not much, not much at all. Really. Yeah, nice. I'll pull up some actives here. Yeah, it'd be good. So in the three to four. Yep. Okay. Well, look at Worsley right downtown. 
Yeah, look at the condo fee. One plus uh, one bedroom, one bath. Yep. Condo fee six ninety two. Right. Can't afford that. A lot of people can't afford that condo fee. Which you know, you put a mortgage on top of that. You put that fee on there. You put your taxes on there. I'm out. <laughs> Might as well go buy a three bedroom townhouse at that price. And these, and I don't know why that building has big fees. I don't know why it's a new building. Well, it doesn't have any 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 facilities. It has nothing. What's what's the big idea? Taxes. Well, taxes aren't included in that condo fee. No. Double check that, but I'm one gazillion percent. No, there's not. They're not. No. It looks like they've got a bit of a terrace out there. Like I like the location. I just don't. I mean, that's kind of okay. I like that. This but, is nice. You know, you you know, but again. Here's it, it's nice, but by me having a terrace and living in a unit like that some years ago, the biggest the biggest complaint was, well, we like the unit, but we don't like everybody staring at us because you got such a big terrace, and that's gonna ha that's 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 gonna happen again. I've seen those units come up before. That's the, the taxes problem. are only thirty one hundred. That's enough. Well, it's actually low compared to you guys and and Nautica. How much? Yeah, but let's look at the valuation too. Three eighty eight. It's crazy. It's a lot of money. What's another one to look at? Even uh, there's one. Look at uh, pull up seventy five Allen unit seventeen oh six. Go back up. Uh, uh, I think it was seventeen oh six. Yeah, right here. Well, or maybe it was one hundred one. Sorry. Yeah, this whatever. Seventy five Allen. Seventy five Allen. Four hundred grand. Hey, great, great location. Four hundred grand. One um, bed, one bath. These are small though, Mark. Yeah, but look at the fee. It's a thousand bucks. Yeah, because this building had problems, remember? Big problems. Oh yeah. Big box. And and that's and some the the the, the owners had a choice, okay? They had a, a choice to pay that assessment fee right up front, or it's going on your condo fee. So it's clearly that special assessment is on the condo fee because it's expensive. That's a lot of money. It pushes the buyer out who's looking for a one bedroom. It pushes them right out. They can get a much better um building newer building pay a little bit more but it will it will work out in the end because the common the common element fee is a lot lower i did try one up in the 419 north end hold on to get gracie some we haven't looked at any in the north end no but they're at 580 that's a lot of money taxes are 2200 that's that's i don't love the area it's i mean it's okay you're going to see some rentals in that building for sure. So please keep that in mind, our viewers. Yeah, the fees are 480, one bed, one bath, 419. Okay. They are newer builds. Yes. I like, I pull up a, and the floor plans are probably decent. It's a Pratt. I like their floor plans and their condos. No underground parking here, I don't think. No, I don't think so either. Oil stove. That living room looked like. Yeah, it's not bad. It's just a big square room. I like that. Yeah, no, no, no complaints. No complaints. But five eighty condo fee. Let's call it six. It's round up. Right, it gets expensive. Right, and this is this is the problem why we're seeing. Double digit decrease, of course, we know why other there's other reasons in that too, but you know, it's um it hurts the buyer. It hurts the buyer for sure. You pay six hundred bucks, you're going up an extra hundred grand, a little bit more than a hundred grand on the mortgage. Mm -hmm. right? Might as well maybe, maybe get a two bedroom townhouse. Let maybe. me try something in the higher range. But look at how many in the fours. There's a lot. There's, there's a, a lot. shit ton. You know, Dunlop, 140. This is, well, this is 50. I'm at, I'm at 50 listings and we're still in the fours. Yeah. Yeah. There's like, look at, like, we're still in the fours. Yeah. Right. When we see a condo fee under five, like there's Spice Wave, but that's probably it's a two better than five. That, that's normal. Coda, nice location. Well, yeah, we haven't looked at any of these really either. No, they don't come up that much. I mean, it's it's that building's what three, three years old. Yeah. And this is the southwest east, Barry. Southwest. 
Southwest, right? Yeah. I like the layouts, I like the location. Got a good mix use in there with detached towns. It's a good mix in there. Decent. No pools, no fit. I don't I, think there's a fitness center. No, no, no. Why are you paying that kind of money? You have an elevator. <laughs> you know, like pretty standard kitchens too, eh? Yeah, not bad. I like the layouts of those though. I do. But you know, what's the what's the condo fee on that? I Hold on, it. I'm gonna tell you, yeah. Three eighty five. Not bad. Okay. Okay. That's reasonable. But it's only seven to seven ninety nine square feet. Great. Yeah, but that's all you're gonna get in one bedroom. That's a great floor plan for a one bedroom. And we're at five thirty five. Yeah, little, I think that's a little high, five thirty five. You know, especially when we see some of the galleries selling way under five, and some of them, that floor plan, different locations. Hundles, five fifty nine, five fifty four fee. Yeah, one bedroom. Two plus one. So you got a big floor plan. Apparently, yeah. That's probably why the fee is so high. So just so people know, the fee is based on your square footage. It's sure. It goes by percentage and it's on your square footage. So the bigger the unit, higher the fee. I just don't like this one because it's in the middle of a parking lot. I told you, I have an issue with it. Yeah, I know. But it's not, I like the location because they got so much things built up over there. I do. Some dogs in my neighborhood, my condo. Um, they're big. They're big. You know, I don't think the fee's bad for the size at all. I've got a den in there too. Nothing wrong with that. Nope, nothing wrong with that at all. And depending, it'd be interesting. How many parking spots I want? One, one could be underground. See what you're looking at, Cineplex. Okay. Um, owned two, two parking spots. Yeah. Two underground. Yeah. No. Surface. Yeah, it's outside. They're owned. It's Two probably. owned outside. Yeah. yeah. I don't think that price point's so high. Yeah, I wanted to I wanted to try to do and mix it up. Yeah. It, it, so it's clearly it's clearly easy to see and, and to say to say it's safe to say that um Buyers have a lot of choice today, whether they're looking at freehold or whether they're looking at condos. So, you know. There's lots of week, choices. Lots of choices. And I'm going to tell you right now, um, <laughs> I've dealt with some um, firm sellers in a sense where we walked away and uh, this isn't the market to say I can do better in or we think the valuation is fair. Well, then why have you been listed and why haven't you sold? That's what I push back on. How much did yours come back up for? What's that? Which one? The one that you guys put an offer in. Oh, I don't know. I think we should. I think you should check that out when we're done. It'd be interesting to see. Right. We went through La uh, Lake House already. Yeah, we don't need to go through Lake House, but now we're in the higher. We're in the, some higher range. Sevens. Ranges. Yeah. So this is seven fourteen Chef Lane, two plus one bed, two bath. There's no. There Way too much money. Way too much money for that. Way too much money. We just looked at one of Cunnels for five sixty nine, and I'm thinking that's a bit of a challenge. This is at seven. Never going to happen. Never going to happen. I sold one at last year at the gallery, three bedroom, fifteen hundred square feet, for six seventy five. This isn't happening. It's nice. Yeah, well, it ain't seven fourteen nice. <laughs> no. be honest there <laughs> <laughs> like the I, i'm gonna i'm gonna try to see the square footage because it, it actually looks very big oh it, it's a good size but there's no i don't even think it's 15 no yeah, it, it's too price 1379 13 yeah good two luck one underground and one above parking space yeah yeah I mean, it is pretty flipping big. It's not a seven. No. No, no. six thirty-two condo fee. Right for you got no amenities, right? Yeah, no. and here we are into the higher prices now. 
Right. Some of them are getting are getting um are getting relisted. A couple I saw someone ordered my clients on Ellen. I thought, oh, we're looking for that view. Oh, it's already been listed. I'm sure we've seen that one before. Right? And they have no interest in in uh in lack house, eh? Because it's the layout. They're looking for a particular layout. They'd love the view here. But they they have a lot of friends at uh at uh at Nautica and you know they it is a nice building. I really enjoyed my time there and I, I did like it. Um and I didn't find the common fees um outrageous because they had a lot of amenities, right? Cool sauna hot tubs. This is really. nine nine nineteen, I think. Yeah. Like that's two better men done by looking at the layout. But oh, our, Mark, it's starting to rain. Yeah, it's we're gonna get some rain. I'm looking outside, small kitchen. It's too, it's all it's carpet, too, though. It's too much money. It's too much money, right? We haven't seen some things in that building that and that size of unit sell in the nines. The view's okay, but the view's nice. Yeah, it's just because it's it's um. This is the beginning of the balcony. So the view is pointing, the balcony is pointing. Yeah. How many days on market that one? Just needs, it's just not a nine. It's not, but it, it should look how much time 34, 34. Be, plus the history on it. I mean, the model's nice, but the price point, we haven't seen, I don't think we've seen a model like that sell for nine in that building this year. We haven't. Last year we have, not this year. Well, that's it. That's it. It hasn't yeah. been canceled and relisted 34 days. Yeah, it's, it's a nice, time. it's a nice unit. The fees are nine twenty three. Mm -hmm. How many parking? Two underground parking, which is a plus, and it's all yeah. underground. That's a bonus there. It's not. It's not bad. It's not bad. Just uh, I feel the the valuations off. Mark, oh, there's one on White Oaks for sale. You want to buy it? Look at the con. Look at the fee. Yeah, I do. Eighteen hundred dollars a month. Yeah. No, Love the location. Okay. I really do. I thought about buying in there. Once I saw the fee, I went for what. Cutting your grass. It's is, beautiful and they're big. They're big. I do like the layouts of them, but see with that many, with it's only maybe eight or nine units in there. So that's why the expensive fee, those costs are spread out between nine, nine or 10 owners. I don't think any more than that. Well, these are huge. It's huge. They're over 1800 square feet. Some of them, I, right? I know they're condo. Town oh, this owners. one's over tw in between 2250 and 2499. Yeah. Yeah. It's got two beds, four baths. It's big, but eighteen hundred dollars. So well, imagine. Mark, that isn't even what the worst thing is. So the maintenance is seventeen forty nine. Oh yeah. And they're saying the taxes are seventeen forty nine. They screwed it up because the taxes are like ten grand there. Oh, oh, at least for that unit, you know, at least, at least. Yeah. You know. Uh, it's nice. The agent should change the the agent should change that real quick. Yeah, they made a mistake. They made a, a big mistake. Anyway, yeah, I'm uh, I'm thinking we should at least put in hit the like, the subscribe, drop us a comment if you like any questions. Yeah, because uh, my power's flickering. <laughs> All right. If anyone has any questions on the Barry Condon market, give us a call and. Um, you know, we're right to the point. We don't bull crap anything. We tell it the way it is. And I think that's just the best for transparency. So, and the facts are right there. And when I say something's overpriced, I call me. I can back it up. I think something's good price. I'll say it's good price. Okay. See ya. See ya. Yeah. Bye.